Hello friends, this video on chemical coordination and integration part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Okay, so now we got understood what is the need of the endocrine system. Now the question is, if the endocrine system is all about chemicals which are called hormones, now who, which cells produce these hormones or who gives rise or who synthesizes these hormones? So there comes the answer that is the endocrine glands and that is why the system is known as the endocrine system. Now before we understand what are endocrine glands, let us first clarify our knowledge on what are glands. So let us start from the basics. Let us see what are glands. So glands are organs that can synthesize and secrete substances either into blood or apical surface. Now these are some specialized organs of our body. So now, not all organs of our body can act as glands. These are some special organs and what is their speciality? That they can synthesize and secrete substances. And what are these substances? These substances are nothing but the chemicals which we are going to talk about. We will see what kind of substances can they be. Now, where will they secrete these substances? These subst there are two ways. One way is some of the glands secrete these substances directly into the blood and then blood will carry these substances throughout the body because blood is the circulatory medium. It keeps on flowing throughout the body. So it can actually transport anything to each and every cell of the body. So that, that is one way where the glands will secrete some substances into the blood and then blood will carry it to different parts of the body. There is another way where glands will secrete the substances on the apical surface. What is apical surface? Apical surface means the surface of the plasma membrane that faces towards the lumen. In what to the lumen? Lumen is nothing but the cavity. Let us suppose if you have a, anything, a, a cylindrical container say. So when I say lumen, lumen means the cavity that is the inside portion, the inside hollow portion of the cylinder that is the lumen. So that the surface of the plasma membrane. Now inside our body, inside the cell, you have so many different cell organelles. So each cell has a cell membrane or a plasma membrane. Now there are some glands which secrete the substances on the inner side of the plasma membrane. So if you now, let us suppose this is a cell. So inside the cell you have various organelles and everything. So everything is there inside the cell. All the cell organelles, cytoplasm, etc. etc. Now this is the plasma membrane. Now there are some uh, glands which secrete their substances on the inner surface of this plasma membrane. That is on this surface. So once you secrete it on this surface, what is going to happen? So once it is secreted here, it will actually reach the different cell organelles inside the cell. So that means also it will reach the all the things which are present inside the cell. So these are the two ways by which glands can secrete the substances. I mean these are the two places where glands secrete their uh, chemicals. Now what are these substances? We will see that. Now, what do gland, glands are? What are glands made up of? Now, glands consist of epithelial cells that specialize in secretion. Now, we discussed about all the different types of tissues, right? Epithelial tissue, muscular tissue, connective tissue, nervous tissue. So, there we talked about the various types of epithelial cells. Like some are ciliated epithelium, where you have cilia, which helps in movement of so many things. There are some called cuboidal epithelium, the cube the squamous epithelium, so columnar epithelium. So there is not one epithelium which are which specialize in secretion. There are certain types of epithelial cells which which are better in secreting stuffs. Now let us take some examples of uh, epithelial cells which are uh, good in secreting stuffs. For example, the sweat glands. Now, the sweat glands are surrounded by epithelial cells which are secrete, which are which specialize in secretion, and that is how the, you can secrete sweat. Now, some of the examples of glands are sweat glands, oil glands, mammary glands. So these are all examples of glands. So if you see sweat glands, they secrete sweat. And what is sweat? Sweat is the substances which we are talking about. Now what it is made up of, etc, etc, that we'll see later. Similarly, if you talk about the oil glands, you see here, 
sebaceous glands. The sebaceous glands are nothing but the oil glands. So they are present deep inside. So they put their secretions which can be felt on the surface of the uh, head for example. At the uh, where you have the roots of your hair, there if you touch sometimes you can actually feel some oily substance being present there. So that is due to the presence of the oil glands deep inside. Similarly, mammary glands which help in secretion of milk uh, during the lactation period of a woman. So this secretion also happens due to the presence of the mammary glands in that particular area. So glands are those, so just remember the simple thing, glands are those organs which can prepare something and then secrete that out. Now the way they can secrete that out, there are two ways. One is they'll secrete it directly to the blood. The other way is they'll secrete it on the apical surface of specific cells. So this is all about glands. Now as I said, what do glands secrete? So we told that they secrete some substances. So what kind of substances are they? Now they can secrete hormones and what are hormones? They are chemical. So everything is going to be chemical substance of course. So hormones are chemical messengers that act on specific target organs. So these are some specific chemical substances. Now they will act on specific organs. They will not act on all the organs of the body. They will act on specific organs depending upon the type of hormone it is. And that is why there are different types of hormones inside our body which are produced by different organs of the body. And those hormones will, produce, will result in some effect on some specific organs. Enzymes, they can also secrete enzymes and enzymes help in the chemical reactions which keep on taking place inside our body because enzymes are nothing but proteins. So they are biomolecules which are made up of proteins and they accelerate the rate of chemical reactions occurring inside the body. So they act as catalyst basically. They can increase the rate of some chemical reactions inside our body. Now when we spoke about the processes of the digestion or respiration which takes place inside our body, many of the chemical reactions you would have observed that there are so many enzymes which are involved. For example, during digestion of proteins, digestion of fats, digestion of carbohydrates, there were so many enzymes like lipase, amylase, Protease, they were all enzymes and they without those enzymes the reactions cannot take place. So that way enzymes also play a very important role. Metabolites, that is the molecules which take part in the various metabolic processes. Metabolic processes, those processes which are essential for the sustenance of a living organism. Now inside our body, so many different life processes occur. Like if you take, if you keep thinking about it, you will see actually there are excretory system, reproductive system, circulatory system, digestive system. So many things are taking place and in for each and every process, there are so many sub processes like if you talk about digestion in that also you have so many different activities taking place like ingestion and then uh, the exact digestion then the absorption of the digestion food then the ejection of the undigested food so that means there are so many things involved so whenever so many processes are involved there are many molecules which take part in those processes and they are called metabolites so many of the metabolites are also produced by these glands Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.